So the second reason for the movement of forex is purchasing power parity. Purchasing power parity states that the difference between the spot and forward rate is because of the differences in inflation rate between two countries. Okay. So earlier in the in the earlier method, we found that interest rate was the reason for the different for the movement in forex. But now we have come to the second theory where it states it is the inflation rate which is the cause for the forex movement. So we'll move on to the purchasing power parity. So purchasing power parity formula works like this: S1 equals to S0 into 1 plus Hc divided by 1 plus Hb. So S1 refers to actually the expected future spot rate. S0 refers to the current spot rate. Hb refers to the inflation in country in which the spot rate is quoted, and Hc is the inflation rate at the other country. At the other country. So we'll work out this problem. Dollar and sterling are currently trading at dollar 1.72 to a pound. Inflation in the US is expected to grow at 3%, but at 4% in the UK. Predict the future spot rate in one year's time. So they are asking a future spot rate in one year's time. So we'll start uh, S1 equals to S0 into 1 plus, we can have the same I here. We can have the same i here divided by 1 plus again you can put it on i so the concept works like this first look at what is the parity it is dollar to the pound so this number is given in dollar to the pound so this number should also be dollar to the pound so this interest rate should be dollar here and it should be pound here okay so that's how the formula has to be set so now it's very easy for us to solve so the spot rate is 1.72 into 1 plus what is the interest rate in what is the inflation rate in US the inflation rate in US is 3% and what is the inflation rate in UK it is 4% so we can easily solve it now 1.72 into 1.03 divided by 1.04 so solve this, you will get the answer 1.70. So this is the dollar 1.70 to the pound. Okay, so that's how it works. The only difference between the interest rate parity and the purchasing power parity is in interest rate parity, you will be having the interest, and in purchasing power parity, you will be like having the inflation numbers. Okay, so even though they give you interest rate and inflation rate. In purchasing power parity, you have to take the inflation rate alone. So that is the only difference between the two methods. So we'll have a quiz. Which of the following statements relate to purchasing power parity theory? The theory holds in the long term rather than the short term. That is true. The exchange rate reflects the different cost of living in two countries. That is what is inflation is. The forward rate can be found by multiplying the spot rate by the ratio of the interest rates of the two countries no this is not the option because we can't find the forward rate what we can find out is the expected spot rate okay so this is wrong so we'll check the answer so answer should be one and two so answer should be b so the answer is b you can reach me at my website wowacademics.com or you can also see my quora answers I am active in LinkedIn and in Facebook page. So you can visit at these places. If you just type Sham Prasad and Wow Academics, you will get all these uh, links in Google search itself. And if you like this video, give a like, share to your friends. And if you feel that any points we have missed in this video, you can post it. We will try to uh, give an answer to you in the comment section itself. Or we will also create another video for you. So thank you for watching our video.